Divine Masculine Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, Divine Masculine, this is a general energy check, but uh, I was guided to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to be looking at, um, it's called 1010 Chronicles, right? So it is what what cycle of your life has closed and what cycle you are in now, right? If you are allowing that. So you all have free will. So um, let's see what's up, okay? Let's see what is up. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. Oh, I just want to thank all of you for your good karma donations. For those of you who hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, for those of you who keep me busy with these personal bookings, oh my goodness, thank you so much. I've been booked up and booked out. Like, yes. Okay, and um, for those of you who just rock with me, you know, um, I appreciate you checking out the video, leaving comments, subscribing. I appreciate you like 100%. You know, this channel would not be what it is without you. Uh, so if you find that this reading is not hitting in any way, that's cool. Click the notification button. I am sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in your timeline. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. Like I said, all that information and more is located in the description box. You will find that the description box has um, expanded a little bit. I've added a little bit more things. So there are more shops um, in there. And um, there's just more stuff in there, okay? So just take a look around. <laughs> you never know. You may find what you are looking for, okay? All righty. Spirit, thank you. What do you have for Divine Masculine? What do you have? Divine Masculine, thank you. Woo, wow, oh wow. Divine Masculine, that's just way too much cards, way too much cards. So I feel like maybe a lot of things are going on in your life right now. A lot of things are shifting. Mm -hmm. But Spirit, I, I just need one right now. I just need one. Okay, you got Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm. This looks like some action is being taken towards something. You have four of coins in reverse. Okay, so you want to give to something. I'm hearing someone say, give it a chance. Or I'm feeling the energy of someone who wants to give something a chance. And you have two of coins. And you're trying to decide, okay? You're trying to, um, it's like you're trying to juggle something. Manage your life. Mm -hmm. Manage all areas of your life. Okay, so Divine Masculine, it looks like uh, in the past, things were moving for you. Things were swinging, okay? Relationship taking off, um, finances moving. You could have had a lot of uh, your hands in a lot of pies. You could have been investing in things. Uh, some of you, you could have been spending a lot. You could have felt like your hand was on fire, right? Your money was burning a hole in your pocket because I felt like it was, it, it feels like it was going out as fast as it was coming in. I feel like I'm feeling mover shaker energy, but a lot of things were happening in the past. Um, I feel like some of you in the past needed or it would have been wise for you to slow down. Some of you could have jumped wholeheartedly into a relationship um, without really thinking things through, um, rushed to get something, something took off really quick, you know, in a love relationship. Uh, you could have been feeling a really positive, a lot of high energy when it comes to your health. You could have recovered from something really quickly, or you started feeling really be uh, a lot better in yourself. But there was a lot of movement. There was a lot of action. Uh, things were happening in the past. Things were happening in the past. Okay, Spirit. Can I get some? Can I get some? Please clarify this eight of wands. Okay, so remember, this is 10-10. So this is what? A cycle that is done and a cycle that is beginning. So this is a cycle that's done. Divine Masculine. Um, this also talks about infatuation and obsession. Mm -hmm. And I feel the energy of someone just so excited to be with someone or get back with someone. They're just like, yeah, let's do this. 
without really taking time, you know, to like think things through. Yeah, the moon in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. And the Hanged One. Wow. Okay, Divine Masculine, I feel like you... Something was revealed to you about um, some options. You could have realized that the options that you had, they weren't really all that great. You could have got a rude awakening uh, as to who someone was, right? So this is like... You could go out on a dating binge and sleep with all these people and do all this shit and realize that your person was really the right person for you. Uh, it, it's like, <laughs> how do I say this? Okay, so it's like dating all these people and after going through all these experiences, you take some time to think about, you know what? Everybody that I've been with, all this shit that's going on, all these experiences, I still would rather be with my person. That is my person. That's why it's feeling like things took off really quickly because you something was revealed to you that your person was your only option or not your only option, but the best one, mm -hmm. right? You could have gone through things that made you realize, you know, take some time to think about it and do some introspection and realize that this is the right one for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So Divine Masculine, I'm reading these cards like um, it's a story, right? So I'm looking at the first 10. This is the completion of a cycle. And I'm looking at the transition in between what's going on currently. And I'm looking at what's coming towards you in the new cycle. Okay, so that's the other 10. So it looks like this is what happened in the past. This is what's going on currently. You have four of coins. So this could be you feeling more generous. This could be you, um, when it comes to business, you sharing your ideas, you sharing your plans. I mean, someone's a tradesman here or a salesman. Um, someone's in some kind of financial field as well. You could be in banking, uh, you're in stock market. Um, someone's in crypto, crypto, you in crypto, you in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. You're doing Bitcoin. But uh, this talks about you being aware of um, people that are trying to be deceptive with you as well. Uh, so that that's like people that take your ideas and run with them and don't give you any credit for them or act like it was uh, their idea. And just they just cut you out altogether. Uh, this when it comes to your health, four of coins in reverse is um, you feeling better because you're letting go of negative energy. You're letting go of anxiety. You're letting go of any worries. So you're starting to free up your energy and feel better. You feel lighter, right? When you let go of that dense, low vibing energy. I feel like some of you are in this energy of being more giving, right? But what what are you giving to? What are you giving to? Some of you want to give a relationship a chance. You want to give something a chance. Spirit, please clarify four points in reverse. Please clarify four points in reverse. I, I apologize. So these cards are big. I have little small kid hands. <laughs> these cards are big as shit for me, right? So sometimes they like fall out. It is what it is. The sun. Okay. 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 So I'm really, I feel like you're feeling really happy right now. Some of you could have, um, if you're in a relationship, you could be realizing that you are feeling like you want to give more to it. Or some of you could be realizing that you want, just want to let it go because it's not for you anymore. Right. And, and you're happy about your decision. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The moon. I'm oh, sorry, the high priestess. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, there's your person, divine masculine. There's your person. There's divine feminine. And queen of swords. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jebus. Okay. Now, divine masculine, you may be feeling like you want to give to a situation or give to your person. Because you realize that they really genuinely make you happy, right? You could have gotten some clarity on something. You may have healed. I feel like someone's energy is like lightening up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone used to be.
be really, really serious, right? And it was just like, I'm hearing Debbie Downer, right? Everything was a fucking problem. And now, now that you're letting go of things and, and viewing things from a perspective like it's really not that deep, your energy is starting to lighten up. I'm hearing someone ascension, awakening. So in this clarity and this healing now, you are, we're really, I feel like some of you are, ah, fuck. It's like you're realizing that your person makes you happy, but there's something that you're seeing clearly. Let me see this here. Because why is there a queen of swords here as well? I want to clarify. Spirit, please clarify the sun. Woo. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm going to take them. Divine masculine. So you are in this situation right now, or put, this is current energy, but put the energy where it goes. Everything's happening at the same time, past, present, future anyway. It all happens at the same time. Some of you may be getting clear that, clarity that you are confused about a situation with somebody. Mm -hmm. um, you could have been confused because you were emotionally overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you could have realized that you were being emotionally manipulated, or someone was being emotionally manipulated with you. Mm -hmm. and you didn't re you didn't recognize it some of you could have realized that someone was lying to you mm -hmm. uh, to get you to do something that they wanted to get you to give to them mm -hmm. yes some of you could have been dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio but i feel like you got some clarity on somebody uh, who was trying to keep you confused Mm -hmm. and manipulate your emotions someone didn't want you to see something clearly they want you to be so up in your feelings that you were just like all over the place so please clarify the high priestess but your intuition divine masculine wow ace of wands your intuition was telling you to move forward anyway mm hmm uh -huh, to go and create whatever it is that you wanted to create for yourself. There was some new beginning here. Uh-huh. And your intuition was telling you to go for it. I'm hearing, run, Forrest, run. Uh-huh. Yeah. The strength in reverse. You could have felt weak. You could have felt like you couldn't do something that you really wanted to do. Spirit, please clarify Queen of Swords. What's this, what's this Queen of Swords about? King of Cups. Uh, Divine Masculine. Somebody cut you off. Mm -hmm. Or you cut somebody off. Divine Masculine, I feel like some of you are in this energy right now where you realize that you... You really didn't deal with someone all that great. Mm -hmm. And that's because you were confused. Mm -hmm. Your intuition was telling you to move forward with someone, but you felt weak. You felt like you couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some of you, you just felt like it was too much work or... It's like some of you wanted to not be a player, but you felt like you just succumbed to it. You know, it's like an addiction, really. Mm -hmm. It's like you felt you, you felt like you couldn't help yourself. This is just how you are. So, someone cut you off because they started to see things clearly, right? But the thing is, there's there's love here. There's there's love here. There's real love here. So can I get one more? Can I get one more? I'm just Queen of Cups and King of Cups. I mean, sorry, Queen of Swords and King of Cups. Divine Masculine, you love someone who cut you off. And, and, and they cut you off because they've seen something clearly. For some of you, this is you. It's like you want to give to someone now because you realize that you were really fucked up in how you dealt with them because you were confused. Mm -hmm. You could have been feeling emotionally overwhelmed over at the time, or you you were being emotionally immature. Mm -hmm. Or you could have felt like someone was emotionally immature. Put the energy where it goes. You know your story, okay? 
but this is your energy that I'm dealing with divine masculine, right? Your intuition was telling you to move forward, but you felt like you couldn't. Mm -hmm. You felt weak, you know, you felt like, and I'm, I'm just feeling the energy of someone who's just like in their chest. It's just like this big ball, right? Like it's like such resistance, such resistance. It's like you want to do something so bad, but you just, you feel like you can't, so you don't. Mm -hmm. And divine masculine, you love somebody and you want to give someone an offer, but they don't want it. They don't want it. They've seen something clearly and they cut you off and cut you out. This is someone, this queen of swords energy, this is someone you don't fucking play with because they've been through too much in their life, right? They see what you're going to fucking do. First off, they show up as the high priestess and the queen of swords. So they see what you're going to do before you fucking do it. Mm -hmm. Some of you could have been dealing with a whole fucking tarot reader or someone who's clairvoyant or someone who listens to their intuition. 100%. Spirit said 150%. Yeah. Some of you could be um, same sex. This could be a same sex relationship. Yeah. But I feel like Divine Masculine, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who knows that you love them, but they don't care. They don't care. It's not that they love you too, but they love themselves more. Hmm. Shit. Yeah, Two of Swords. It's like now you're in this energy of you can't decide if you should give an offer to this person because they already done wrote you off. Yeah. You want to come towards someone because you know that they're your happiness. Deep down inside, your intuition is like, yo, this is your person. You know this, right? <sighs> some of you, I'm, I'm not coming for you. It's all love. But some of you are acting all confused. And I do feel like, I do genuinely feel like you were confused at a time. Ugh. <sighs> Some of you, you have some like abandonment issues or rejection issues and you just, it's like you don't believe that someone really could love you, right? That's a whole other reading. Why, why and where that came from. But so, so I feel like some of you are realizing that you were confused with someone and you did not pour into someone's cup because you were emotionally overwhelmed about something. Feeling a lot of anxiety. And you were emotionally immature. And someone separated from you because they're not here. Queen of Swords, not here for the bullshit. So this, this energy is very intelligent. Very intelligent. They see things very clearly. They've been through too much. Okay. Heard it all. Seen it all before. They're not here for the bullshit. And you love this person and you want to give them, an, you, you're trying to decide if you should give them an offer mm -hmm. or you should tell them how you feel or you realize that you love somebody. Mm -hmm. But it's like you realized after the fact, Divine Masculine, after this person separated from you and now you can't decide. Some of you could be choosing between two people right now. Mm -hmm. But you, your intuition is telling you who the right person is. You know. You know. So please clarify um, two of coins. I feel like some of you are... Um, okay, so... This is what's happening presently. You know your situation. Past, present, future. Like I said, it's happening all, all at the same time. So this is what is, this is like the cycle that is coming towards you or you're already in. Spirit, please clarify two of coins. You are juggling your life. You are keeping yourself occupied. A lot of you could be just um, keeping yourself occupied with work. Okay. Yes. Some of you, you, you juggling two people. Okay. Or you're trying to figure out how to balance what's going on other areas of your life and love. Right. <laughs> Of course, love always gets its own category, right? Because it's always so much shit, man. Spirit. Can I get one more? Please clarify two of coins. 
Yes, Ten of Swords. Oh, Jeebus, Jeebus, Jeebus. Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, Divine Masculine. Let me just uh, talk things them straight. Straight, straight, straight. Okay? Because me, me not the time for waste. Um, a lot of you, you're going to be juggling people. Mm-hmm. But these people are going to, this cycle that you're entering, it's like you're learning how to, so you're going to be juggling other areas of your life and you're going to be juggling relationships. Some of you could be just dating multiple people. Yes. But it looks like these people are going to be just like ten of swords in you. Okay. So this is people that make you feel like you've hit rock bottom, people that are deceptive, people that are, they just really just want to make, they make you feel like just fucking giving up. I'm not going to lie to you, Divine Masculine. Some of you, you are in a cycle right now where spirit is showing you what real love is and what real love isn't. Okay? A lot of you, you are being taught the difference between lust and love. Because some of you, you're going to give your cup to people that really give zero fucks about. They're just, they're here to drink what's in it. And throw it back on the floor. Some of you, you're going to be with people who are just going to drink from your cup, belch, and just fucking throw your shit on the floor. Okay, with this Ten of Swords and this Nine of Wands in reverse, they're, they're not into nothing serious. They're not trying to persevere. They're not trying to fight for nothing. It's just like, okay, I got what I wanted. I'm gone. Bye. Mm-hmm. Someone is collectively be aware of overindulging because you could get sick. I'm hearing sick. Um, someone's gonna end up getting their stomach pumped, okay, from having a, a night of just too much. Mm -hmm. Too much of too much shit. Yeah. Someone went out and drank everything mm -hmm. and ended up having to get their stomach pumped. Yeah. Spirit, so please clarify Ace of Cups. Please clarify Ace of Cups. The fool. Okay. For some of you, you are in a cycle now where you're learning how to manage your life. Um, it's like manage other areas of your life and manage love. Uh, this is taking a leap of faith. Spirit, can I get one more on Ace of Cups and the Fool? I feel like some of you are going to be taking a chance on love. Mm hmm Ooh, but you got ten of coins in reverse. Oh, I just said this. I can't make this up. Some of you, you're, I'm hearing karma. Some of you are going to be meeting people and taking a chance on them and giving your cup. For some of you, this is a um, same-sex relationship. And these people are just going to be after your money. They're just going to be after whatever they can get from you with this Ten of Swords and this Ten of Coins in reverse. So this is about a cycle. Mm. <laughs> Spirit said this is about a cycle that um, has started, but you can go through it really quick if you want. You can close this out really fucking quick if you want by just changing certain things, changing things up. Divine Masculine, some of you, I, I got to say it, okay, because I'm here to speak the truth, are going to be meeting people that you give your cup to, you want to start a relationship with, you start dating, you start sleeping with... And they're just out to get whatever the fuck they can get from you, okay? Whether that be money, most of it's money, okay? Someone looks at someone as a sugar daddy. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing someone is, uh, you're mature, right? And you, you meet a lot of people that are just looking at you like you have money and they want it. So please clarify Ten of Swords. Please clarify Ten of Swords. But it's like taking a leap of faith on people, people that there's really no stability. There's no long-term building, right? There's, there's nothing there. This is very much so, I'm, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, okay? I'm just here for whatever the fuck I can get from you, okay? So please clarify Ten of Swords. Five of Swords in reverse. Wow, Swords, Swords. Oh, man. Sorry, please clarify. Can I get one more for Fire Swords? 
Oil the more first. Divine masculine. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Spirit wants you to close out. Okay, so this is 1010. What has done for you and what is coming towards you, what you're in. A lot of you, you're in a cycle that wants, it's begging for you to close it out. Okay, a lot of you, you've been doing the same shit over and over again. Like, Spirit's like asking you, right, at this point, are you tired of this bullshit? Are you tired of being with people who just want you for your money and don't really care for you? Your intuition is telling you 100% your person was, was your person. This is someone who loved you no matter, no matter what. Okay, they loved you. Ah, oh, jeez. If I'm asking, I'm not lie. I, I feel it for you. I feel it for you because some of you, you're just in this repetitive fucking cycle of freaking nothing really happening, okay? You're feeling weak. You're feeling tired. It's like, it's this perpetual cycle of seducing people and being seduced, Right? Someone's going to come for what you have. It's like, you may feel like you're getting over on someone, but when you really check it out, they got over on you. Mm -hmm. It's like you want this to end, but you don't know how to make it end. Right? There is a cycle that is begging to be closed out here. And it's just like you keep, you keep doing the same shit. Divine Masculine, I love you. You can do this, you know. If you want different, you just got to think different. You just got to move different. Spirit, please clarify nine of wands in reverse. Some of you, you are so tired of like the same shit. I'm, when I say rock bottom, like you feel like you've been blindsided all the time. It's just the same shit. You're so, I'm feeling the energy of someone who's so fucking tired of being stabbed in the back. Of being betrayed, of being used for what they have, used, abused, and refused. So tired of it. It just it just seems like this never ending fucking cycle, never ending story. Mm -hmm. And you're just you're ready to be over it, but you don't know how. Spirit, please clarify nine of wands in reverse. You're so tired of this, right? Eight of cups. I just said this. I can't make this up. You're so ready to be over with this, but you don't know how to let it go. Some of you, this is legit dead ass an addiction. Some of you are addicted to this high life, to this fast life, mm -hmm. to this so-called good life, but you don't feel good about it. It doesn't make you feel happy, fulfilled, satisfied within yourself. Some of you, you're looking at yourself in the mirror like, I'm just getting too fucking old for this. I can't keep up with this kind of lifestyle. And you're right. You're right. So please clarify eight of cups in reverse. Five of cups. I can't make this up. Let me show you this again. You regret this. You regret this. Mm -hmm. It's like the more you move forward in this cycle, the more regrets you have. Like someone is collecting regrets. I regret leaving my person. I regret letting go of my family. I regret letting go of my relationship. I regret letting go of the good shit that I had in my life that actually meant something, that was actually building a solid foundation. I'm just around these bitches and niggas that just want money. They don't even care about me. They just want what I have. Ah, Divine Masculine, you know what I feel though? I feel like um, you are, this is, this is ascension. This is awakening, right? So the universe will do things like whisper to you and show you little signs and little synchronicities, you know, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe you should stop doing that. And then it starts getting louder and the experiences start getting stronger and more profound. Until finally, like, the universe is fucking screaming at you, like, yo, bruh, or yo, sis, you're not stop. 
It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse until you're literally on your fucking face and there's nowhere else to go but up. But the only way you can go up is by changing, by elevating, by raising your vibration. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you are stuck in a cycle, but it is a catalyst for you to wake up and do things differently in your life. Because someone in this collective, you are going to be, you are going to absolutely hit rock bottom. Mm -hmm. And you are going to regret not letting go of things that no longer serve you. And then you are going to let it go. Mm -hmm. And it sucks. But I've personally been there, right? Where I was holding on to things for dear life that didn't serve me. Until the universe just said, so Keisha, what are you going to do? Because shit's just going to keep getting worse. And believe me, it got so bad. I had no option, no choice but to let it go. And I faced my biggest fear by letting go of things and people that did not serve me. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it's hard and it's challenging and it's difficult and it's scary and it's anxiety inducing. But it is so worth it because at the other end, this new cycle, you're going to look back and be like, yo, I fucking did that. And look where I am now. But someone in this collective, you are going to be getting a major wake-up call because um, I, I feel like it's stubbornness. I feel like it's someone who feels like they can beat the universal system <laughs> and you can't do that. <laughs> you, you may be able to beat man's system, right? But not the universe, okay? Yes, yeah, like trying to fight God. How do you do that? <laughs> Please let me know, okay? But someone is getting a major wake-up call here. And um, it is it is for your highest good. And it is going to help you to learn how to manage your life better, right? Um, sometimes some people just have to hit rock bottom so that the only way they can go is up, right? The only direction to go is up. And in order to do that, you have to raise your vibration. You have to lighten your load so you can move up, right? And this is what someone is going through so that they can... Let go of what's no longer serving them so that they can elevate in their life, okay? And elevate their life, period. Wow. Okay, okay. Square, can I get some last words of guidance and advice? Where are we? Okay. Can I get some last words of guidance and advice? For the beautiful, the handsome, beautiful, whatever, divine masculine collective. Thank you. Wow, patience. I just said, okay, the universe, divine, divine guidance, um, divine timing. I mean, this came out as well, broken heart. And look at this angel of strength in reverse. Oh, divine masculine. Divine masculine, I love you. Spirit wants you to be patient. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like a lot of you, Spirit wants you to know that your healing is coming, right? But it, it has to do with, you have to do your part, okay? So it's about you being strong. A lot of you have to do with, um, some of you, you're stuck in this energy of being easily seduced and just wanting to do, very lustful energy, right? And spirit is letting you know, as long as you stay in this energy, you're going to continue to get the same result. You're continue, going to continue to get your heart broken. If you continue to give your cup to people who really don't give a fuck about you, okay, they either want sex or money or stability or whatever they can get from you, you're going to continue to get your heart broken, right? And it's, it is, uh, there's a song called, I got a weakness for sweetness. So it is, um... Looking at surface things, right? And being having weakness for superficial surface things that are not, it's valuing things that are not valuable. Spirit wants you to know that as long as you continue to do that, you will continuously get your heart broken, okay? And it's just a matter of time before you recognize these things and do something about it. Mm -hmm. So Spirit is asking you that, it's like, this is just someone saying, are you ready to change? Are you ready to do something different? 
Swear, can I get one more? Can I get one more? Wow. Take a break. Clearly communicate your needs to others today. Let go in order to allow time for your desires to manifest. Okay? Delegate tasks to others so that you can rest. I feel like some of you, Spirit wants you to just give this whole fucking lifestyle a rest, okay? And, and let go of it, okay? To allow other things, better things to manifest in your life. Some of you, Spirit wants you to loosen your grip on a situation now to gain more peace. Someone could be too controlling or trying to control things too much. And Spirit wants some of you to maintain a consistent sleep schedule in order to feel more well-rested. Someone is not sleeping. And now I'm seeing nine of swords in my third eye. Spirit wants someone to give something a break, give it a rest. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Divine Masculine, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.